I have been on a bit of a fate kick lately. A few months ago, I watched Fate Apocrypha, and I ended up liking it a lot more than I thought it would, so much that it became my anime of the year last year. And then Heaven's Field came out a couple months ago, I went and saw that, and liked it quite a lot, but I felt like I was missing some of the context for it, so I then went and watched Dean's Day Night like a month ago, and then I decided to get back into seasonal shows, so I watched Fate Extra, and now, recently, I decided I should complete my journey through Fate, with Fate Khalid. And when I came into Khalid, I was expecting something fun with some cool action. I got that. I got a lot of that. And a little bit more. Fate Khalid is a magical girl spinoff of the Fate series, which follows Ilya as she is roped into becoming a magical girl and has to collect the class cards by fighting heroic spirits. It's hard for me to really figure out what type of show this is. Despite being a magical girl show, it's still kind of fate. Beyond just the characters from before, there's also the battles against heroic spirits, which feel like fate, and also the magical world thing that fate is known for, even if it is a bit different here. It's also hard for me to figure out exactly what type of magical girl show it is, because it has all the tropes of a conventional magical girl thing, but it also is very self-aware and pokes fun at itself a few times, while also having some of the darker, more serious moments that are more indicated of the dark magical girl shows. So it's kind of a mix of all three of those types, plus fade on top of it, so yeah. This is pretty unique. So I think it is still mostly a conventional magical girl show, and I think it is my favorite of these, even though I've seen like three or four of them. The main thing that Fake Khalid nails is the whole fun aspect. There are moments of pure comedy that are absolutely hilarious. As I mentioned before, Khalid is a self-aware, so it can poke fun at its own story sometimes. Then there are some great moments with the over-the-top reactions of the characters. Like the time that Ilya really wanted to see Miyu, who is the other magical girl in the series, and Ilya just has the desire to chase after what she wants, compared to the more reserved Mayu. And then there's also the banter between Rin and Luvia, who are the previous magical girls, and they're just great. Their banter between each other reminds me of the Discord conversations that I am in on a regular basis. It just fits so well. The conversations make no sense out of context, in context, but that is the point. Though the comedy is only half the fun the show offers. The other half is the action. The special effects for the magic battles are incredible. They are a visual spectacle that are fun to watch and they really build up the hype for the show. The recent fates that Defotable has done are no stranger to great looking action and this is no exception. And while this is not Defotable action, it still does not come far from it. There's a lot of fun here for fans of Fate with the characters that show up too. Like there's one particular character that would come as complete shock, but was also really cool to see her and the battle against that character. And yeah, if you've seen the first season in Cleet, you know who I'm talking about. There are a lot of questions I had with how some of the things unfolded that didn't really make sense, but I've only seen season one, so I'm hoping they will make sense. But because they just kind of came out of nowhere, they were really cool, and it is the type of absurd action that is just awesome. But it's not like fun was all this show offered. It also has some good character drama woven throughout the life or death battles the characters are in. The show doesn't get overly dark, but it does have its serious moments, and the magical girls are putting their lives on the line during these battles, so it's good that they remind us that yes, there are stakes here. I also like the character drama and Ilya's growth throughout the season. She and Mayu really do care about each other, and we see this more as the show gets further along, and like all great anime, the value of friendship is on full display here. Sadly, there are a couple things that I don't like about the show, and since this is kind of a review and all that, I kind of have to talk about them. One, the English dub. Don't watch the dub. I like dubs in general. Not this one. Watch the sub. And then the fan service. Keep in mind Ilya is a middle school girl, which they actually increased her age from the light novels based off what I read, which is good because it'd be even weirder if they were doing this with a 10 year old. So yeah, it felt rather creepy and while a couple times I could like write this off as just being there for comedy, there are others where it just felt overly drawn out and beyond anything a joke could be and especially how it was woven through one of the more serious parts of the story. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. But beyond that, Fake Lead really is a fun series. It may not have the serious overtones like the other Fates, 
but it still has a strong enough story to be interesting, and again, it's fun all around. Even though I've only seen season one, I'm looking forward to watching the other seasons soon. Though I have like 20 other things I need to watch for other th reasons. Oh well, Fake Lead is awesome. Go check it out. Yeah, thank you for watching, and have a good day.